Despite these immense challenges, we have found an astonishing number of transitional forms, those incredible snapshots of evolution in progress that certain groups of people once claimed would never show up. Take Tiktaalik, often called the fisherpod, this incredible creature discovered in the Canadian Arctic has fins with wrist-like bones and sturdy ribs, but also fish-like scales and gills. It's a perfect bridge between fish and early tetrapods. But then there's Archaeopteryx, a marvel blending reptilian and avian features. Dinosaur-like teeth and a long bony tail alongside fully formed feathers and wings, a clear link between dinosaurs and birds. And don't forget Ambulicetus, the walking whale. This ancient whale ancestor had powerful legs, suggesting it could both walk on land and swim, providing a crucial piece of the puzzle for how whales evolved from land-dwelling mammals. We also have an increasingly rich fossil record of early hominins, tracing our own lineage back through various bipedal ape-like species. So yes, gaps exist, but they exist because the record is inherently patchy, incomplete and difficult to access, not because evolution took cigarette breaks or because species magically appeared fully formed. Every new fossil discoverer, every new bone on earth shrinks a gap somewhere, adding another piece to the puzzle. And the gaps that remain are increasingly being filled in by another powerful tool, DNA. Genomics allows us to peer into the past without waiting for stone bones. We can measure evolutionary distance down to a single letter of genetic code reconstructing family trees and confirming relationships with incredible accuracy. The tree of life isn't missing, we're just continually adding more intricate and beautiful ornaments to its branches.